For practice it, exercise 2.16 slash figure, we were asked to write a Java program in a class named slash figure that produces the following output. We need to use nested loops to capture the structure of our figure. So first we need to make our class. It's going to be public class slash figure. This is just the regular syntax for any kind of class. So we'll make this and we'll have one, two, three, four for spacing. And inside of here, we need a main method. So we'll have public static void main with string arguments. And this is just the regular syntax for our main method as well. Now we need to look out how many out, how many lines of code we're outputting. We have one, two, three, four, five, six lines of code. So we'll say um, four lines, we'll say four rows of code. And in here, we're going to have a for loop that runs six times. We'll say int a is equal to zero, and this is going to run as long as a is less than six. And then we're going to increment a every single time. Now, we should indent this because it's in our main method. And now in here, we are going to look at the backslashes since they happen before everything else. So we can put four. Um, backslashes like this and we'll have a for loop in here that prints it out and we'll say int b is equal to zero and this is going to happen um, as long as uh, is we're gonna it's gonna happen twice in every single row of code so this is gonna happen as long as b is less than a times two and after this, we can just increment b by one every single time. Again, this for loop, it's going to print out backslashes. So in here, we can say system dot out dot print. And in here, we are just going to have our backslash. We need two um, backslashes in our code to produce one backslash of output. And the way this is working is that if B is equal to zero and A is equal to zero, we're not outputting anything. But if B is equal to zero and A is equal to one, because after this breaks out of this loop, it'll go in here and increment A to one, then we are going to print out two of these, two of these backslashes. So now that our backslashes are taken care of, we can move on to our next part, which is the ex exponential or the exclamation marks. So we can say for exclamation mark like this. And our for loop is going to be int b is equal to zero. Totally different b from our previous b. Um, so in here, we can say that b has to run. For our first row, it's if, if it's less than 22. For our next row, it loses 1, 2, 3, 4, exclamation marks it loses them to the slashes so what we can do is we can say that this runs for um, B has to be less than and we can create a temporary value like this and we can say int temp is equal to zero and every single time this for loop that we're currently writing this in this um, nested for loop every single time after it breaks we are going to increment temp by four that way every single time it loses four so we'll say temp plus equals four and then in here we're just going to do b minus minus because b has to be lower than temp to break out of this loop in here we'll have a system dot out dot print and inside of here, we just have an exclamation mark. After this loop, we have a, another for loop that's just going to print out forward slashes. This then prints out backslashes, and their next loop is going to print out forward slashes. So we can just copy all of this because it's going to be super similar. So we can just paste this in here, and this is going to be for forward slashes. And we can just have a single slash in here because forward slashes only need to be written once to output once in our code. Lastly, after all of these for loops execute to create one line of code, we need a space. So we can say for spacing, 
and have a system dot out dot print line like this. We can get rid of this space and then submit and it is telling us that we have some errors we need a semicolon here we don't need a semicolon in here and if we submit it again we can see that we have some errors and it seems to be with the exclamation marks the exclamation marks are not outputting so we can look at our code and see what's wrong well we have b is equal to zero and the problem with that is is that there's 22 exclamation marks here so b actually has to equal to 22 made a mistake right there and if we submit that we have passed the output test we can go over this and explain it since it's pretty long so we need our output to look like this we have a class here and then we have a main method written originally we need four rows of code or um we need six rows of code so we are going to have this all of this output run six times that's why this for loop is going to run until a is um, equal to six next we have a for loop right here that outputs our backslashes next we have a for loop in here that outputs our exclamation marks what this for loop is doing is it is using a temporary value temp is equal to zero and then it's incrementing this plus equals four every single time this runs so that we lose four exclamation marks every single time this code runs and that's because it loses four and it gains four slashes two being forward slashes and two being backward slashes and this code prints out the forward slashes so this is it. This is all the code needed to print out this output.